to everyone here I'm gonna share you again another kinds of recipe and this is this kind of recipe is in Taga in Filipino we call that crispy pata so this is the this is the front leg of a pig so I'm gonna cook this pork crispy so guys here are my ingredients uh, let's begin with our sauce so we're gonna use this for our sauce 12, 7 cloves garlic mince, uh, 7 pieces red chili pepper mince, and also 1 head medium onion mince. Of course, we have fish sauce, soy sauce, 1 cup of vinegar, and we have also salt to taste. So, we are going to boil this. I'm gonna cook this in pressure cooker for before we gonna fry so if you are in a hurry you can use your, your pressure cooker so, to tenderize or soften this and if you're going to boil this one of course we have some ingredients to add like peppercorn laurel leaves or bay leaves and we have a small amount of ginger okay guys this is the crispy pata or the okay guys let's get started i'm not going to pressurize the uh, pork shank or pata so here is now my pressure cooker and i put a little water and i'm going to add one tablespoon of salt then let's now put this one this is laurel leaves or basil leaves or peppercorn and our ginger we're gonna use ginger to remove the fishiness of this pork shank or pata and now let's draw our protagonist the pata or the pork shank this is the front leg of a pig. I use that because it's fleshy. Now guys, I'm going to cover now. So, you're gonna lock the cover. Then, I'm gonna turn on the stove. Okay guys, while we are waiting to soften our uh, pata or the, or the pork shank rather, let's do our sauce. So, now for our one cup of vinegar, three tablespoon of fish sauce or patis, two tablespoon of soy sauce. Then let's now put this one, our minced onion, garlic, the red chili pepper, and we gotta mix well. 
You can also use uh, just the gravy sauce, if you have gravy sauce, uh, ketchup, something like that. But for me, I prefer to use this one because I like the taste. This is an appetizer sauce for our crispy uh, pork shell. Gotta mix it well so that uh, it will incorporate all the new things. Then check the taste. Then I'm gonna add one half tablespoon of brown sugar. We're gonna check the taste. And the taste is already enough. Uh, the bending of the sourness, saltiness, and the spiciness. Very good. So good. It's appetizer. Just it's an appetizing, you know. We're not going to set aside this one. And we wait for the papa or this pork shank to be cooked. Okay guys, let's check now. Oh, this is what it looks like guys. So let's now remove so what is tender. We're going to sit in this for rest this for 10 minutes. So guys, this is already so we're going to rest this for about 10 minutes to cool down. And after this, we're not going to fry. Now we're going to uh, put some salt. Okay. I already preheated my cooking oil. So this one, this is my cooking oil guys. That is second use. I used that already. This is my second time to use it. Now since our cooking oil is already hot, we are going to set our uh, flame into between low and medium heat. So we are going to put slowly like that. Okay guys, we're going to check. Turn it over so the gather can be also cooked. Before that, we're going to turn off this stove. To avoid oil Okay guys, welcome back. Here we go again. I hit again our uh, cooking oil into a very low flame and then this has been cooled down so we are going to double fry so that the skin of this will become very crispy. So that is already enough. We're now done cooking our uh, crispy pork crispy shank or crispy papa. I just turn on the stove and we're gonna take out from the pan. Now oh, guys, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Crunchy. Okay guys, here is my crispy pata pork crispy shank. Here is now my crispy pata.
and also our sauce subscribe to my channel also like and share and also hit the notification bell so that if ever I uploaded a new recipe video here on my channel you will be notified immediately this is my crispy tada oh, you see that very crunchy Mmm. Do you hear that? It's very crunchy. Okay, see you again next time. Bye bye.